You think you know encoders? Think again. The Spark encoder is about to blow your mind. Let's look at some of the awesome things you can do with it. Let's start with its monitoring capabilities. One of the things that separates Spark from other encoders on the market is its touchscreen interface and customizable LED light ring. This gives you full visibility of what's happening with your live stream in real time. On the touchscreen, you can monitor your live video in full screen, or you can take a look at your video and stream quality. You can also check in on the status of your network connection and even your incoming audio levels. As a bonus, you can even adjust your audio gain levels if you're sending your mix into the 3.5 millimeter or quarter inch inputs on the Spark encoder. In addition to monitoring your levels visually, you can always listen to your live audio directly from the headphone jack. The LED light ring will also allow you to keep an eye on your stream, and it'll notify you if there are any issues. You can even customize what these colors will indicate in Spark's menu settings. Another great feature is its ability to record locally. Having a backup recording of your stream is really helpful in case you run into internet issues while you're live. All you have to do is insert a micro SD card into the slot and Spark will take care of the rest. Once your stream goes live, it'll start recording your content automatically to an MP4 on the SD card. Should you run into any issues with your live stream, you can always take the card out and upload the recording to BoxCast using our broadcast replacement tool. Then viewers can watch the uninterrupted or higher quality version of your stream later. Now let's talk about Spark's special sauce. Spark is an HEVC encoder. What does that mean for you? It means crystal clear, high quality video without eating up all of your internet data. HEVC cuts your bandwidth needs in half without sacrificing any video quality. Spark also uses BoxCast Flow, our exclusive and super smart streaming protocol. Imagine losing your internet connection midstream. It's happened to me before and it was a total nightmare, but because of BoxCast Flow's adaptive recovery, I didn't actually lose my stream. Even with the internet dropping out momentarily, our viewers didn't notice a thing. It's basically like having streaming insurance. Okay, so let me show you how Flow Control actually works. We are running a test live stream right now with Flow Control maximum set. And basically what that means is it's the greatest amount of delay you'll get for your live stream, but it's also your safest bet in case you have some sort of outage during your stream. So let's go ahead and take a look at the diagnostics just so I can show you the timestamps. And you can see here it's 152 and we've had no outages. Our broadcast bitrate looks pretty healthy and nothing's gone wrong. Now let's take a look at the Spark encoder and you can see we're running a test and we're live. So let's go ahead and simulate an outage. And I'm gonna do that just by unplugging the ethernet connection right here. And Spark is gonna tell me now we don't have any internet connection and in normal situations, we'd be panicking. Let's go ahead and reconnect our internet connection. And Spark will go ahead and reconnect. And during this time, Spark is actually buffered up enough that it'll be as if we have no outage and our viewers won't notice anything at all. So if you come back to our stream diagnostics, you'll see since that time, it's now 153 and we've had no actual outages in our live stream. And you can see over here that our stream, this would be our viewer experience, it's still running. So that's how it works. Oh, and there it is at 154. Still no outages. Another great feature is the ability to run a speed test directly on Spark, which you can do right here. This allows you to make sure you have a strong enough internet connection before you go live. Lastly, Spark has a variety of mounting options to suit your live streaming setup. It comes with a handy little clip-on stand, perfect for setting it up on your desk or table next to your other gear. If you want to mount it permanently, we've included a visa mount for attaching it to a stand or onto a wall. And if you're on the go, the quarter-inch tripod mount lets you attach it to any standard tripod or camera rig. Both HDMI and SDI versions of Spark are packed with everything we mentioned in this video. So no matter which one you choose, you're getting a ton of great features to elevate your live streaming experience. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And as always, happy streaming.